Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for the sign of Gemini. So we have, ooh, we have the Ace of Wands, first card out, okay. <laughs> the Nine of Wands, okay. You guys are close to a new beginning here. I know that you, it looks like you guys have been through a lot. Um, yeah, it's like you guys have been through a lot. You've been resilient. But like, and like, you're kind of like in this like wounded warrior type energy or somebody is, either you or somebody in your energy, it could be your twin. But it's like, there's a new beginning that's very close, a new passionate beginning. Ooh, somebody's watching you. This energy has been heavy in the collective. Like, oh, these lurkers, someone's lurking or talking about you or let's see, somebody could be also learning a lesson here. So we have wishing. Yeah, it's like somebody's, yeah, somebody's watching you. Somebody's watching you and suffering in silence. They're not saying anything to you. They're just watching you. And they're kind of like feeling like passionate about you. I feel like this person is about to surrender. They have a lot. Somebody has a lot of this. Your twin has a lot of passion for you. And I feel like they're watching you. They're wishing and hoping for you. I don't know what they're wishing for exactly, but they're suffering in silence. They're like reminiscing about you. And yeah, I feel like they're yeah, definitely spying and I feel like they're feeling very passionate about you and they're very close to something here. Like I feel like surrendering to this passion. Clarify the Ace of Wands. The Empress, I'm telling you, somebody feels like you're the shit. All right. They feel like you're the divine femme, divine masculine. Um, they just feel like you have, you're the total package here. They feel very passionate about you. They're very attracted to you. Okay. You guys could also be having like some type of new passionate beginning. Um, Taurus energy here. Do we have anything else out so far? No. Okay. So we have the nine of wands. Divinely guided. See, someone is like, trust the journey. Your connection is protected. Yeah. Spirit says they know that you've been through a lot, but you were led up to this point for a reason. You were led to this person for a reason. Wherever you're at, you're where you're supposed to be and you're here for a reason. They're telling you to trust the, the journey. Continue to persevere. You're close to something here. You're very close to something. Um, tell me about the page of swords. Yeah, somebody can't let you go. See, somebody, some, it's like someone's in this very stagnant energy. They're just watching you. They're not doing anything right now. They're like just watching you, keeping tabs on you, suffering in silence, feeling like they can't let you go. Um, somebody isn't learning their lesson though, I feel like, or they're not getting it because it's like somebody's in this resisting change energy. Tell me about wishing. We have nine of pentacles. Hmm. Freedom and independence love without commitment somebody could be watching you like be free and independent and suffering in silence it's on the back of the deck sexual encounter Ooh, somebody maybe tried to have a is going either did try to have a sexual encounter with you or they did or so there's somebody's feeling left out in the cold here somebody may be trying to come out of the cold to have a sexual encounter with you i'm telling you somebody is feeling very passionate about you but i don't know <laughs> I don't know. I feel like they're going to, I told you, they're about to like cave. They're what? Tell me about the nine of pentacles. What is it that they're wishing in the nine of pentacles, the three of cups? Somebody, I'm telling you, somebody is seeing you like either partying or spending time with your friends, celebrating. Tell me about the three of cups for my collective. I'm telling you, taming hunger. This person is trying to like not act on this passion that they have for you. Very heavy sexual energy here. Mm-hmm. Taming a player, trying to read it. They feel very tempted. Hmm. What does the three of cups mean for what time about what the three of cups means for my collective? Yeah, I'm telling you it's like not the right time for some of you. You want to come towards this person. This person knows that right now you're going to reject them. Yeah. They say like they want to slate with you, but they know that they're going to get rejected. Yeah. They're, they're still resisting the connection, but I feel like this person knows that you're going to reject anything that isn't this, right? You're not going to reject, you're going to reject anything that isn't the six of pentacles, generous, fair, and balanced, a balanced relationship, not them just coming in to sleep with you and hook up with you. And then, you know, them taking from you and them not giving anything. So I feel like this person is just watching you live your best life. They're trying to, you know, they're feeling very passionate about you guys. I've been, why did I wake up in the middle of the night? I woke up in the middle of the night and, uh, fiending by Jodeci, fiending by Jodeci was, it playing in, I think it was even playing in my damn dream.
but I woke up to that song. And if you guys know that song, you know what that song is about, or you need to go listen to that song. And it's funny that this is the reading that's coming out for it right, you know, for my twin flames. Like, so I was channeling that song. Somebody is like fiending for you, right? But they're trying to uh, tame it. They're trying to like, because it's not the right time. I feel like, but didn't I just say this? Like, someone's going to end up surrendering here. Because it says surrender to the unknown. Mm hmm. Somebody's fiending for your ass, trying to resist the temptation of you. This person feels like you're a temptation because they know that right now they can't give you anything balanced. And if they were to try to come towards you, they're going to get their ego bruised because you're probably going to reject them. That's why. That's why they're not making, they're just watching you and not doing anything. All right. Anything else out of this spread? Three of Swords. What's this mean for my collective? Clean up. Yeah. What does it mean for my collective? Clean up. What's that mean for my collective? Six of Cups. You guys could be like kind of cutting ties with, you're starting to do the inner work. You're starting to heal. Um, you're vi raising your vibration. You're cutting ties with these karmics here. Yeah, somebody either you're cutting ties with a karmic or they're cutting. They need to cut ties with a karmic or a, um, somebody from their past. What's this mean for this person? Three of Swords, Clean Up, and Six of Cups. It's time. Yeah, divine intervention. No more running. I told you. What about it's? What's that mean? It's time for this person. Two of Wands, waiting, future planning needs needs needing to choose a path. Yeah, they need to figure out what they want. But what is about? It's it's time though. The Tower. The, the divine is intervening here. Because this is maybe somebody that wasn't like refusing to make a decision. They were re resisting change. You know, this person um, has been hiding their feelings and emotions. The lovers that they have a lot. They have a lot of feelings and emotions for you. They just haven't been wanting to compromise. For some reason, this person has been not wanting to meet you halfway. But there's going to be a, some type of divine intervention that I feel like forces this person. Like, you're going to be like, nope, you waited too long. We're going to intervene now. It's time. You're no longer good. You're, you've been running from this for too long. So it's like it's kind of forcing them onto a path here. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. Taking things slow, patient, stable love. What's this mean for my collective? What do we have out here? We don't have too many. We have Scorpio energy. Um, What's this? No, nope. we don't have too many different signs out here that yet. Um. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, someone's coming towards you. It's like spirit's kind of forcing this person on the path of coming towards you with something state. I'm telling you, two of cups. They're coming towards you with a solid offer here. A steady union. Yeah. Things, taking things slow. Yeah, patient, stable. They're coming in with something stable here. But this is, the feelings are mutual. If you didn't, if you didn't think they were, they are. It says strong attract, strong connection, mutual attraction, reunion. Maybe you guys are both trying to resist each other or stay away from each other, but for different reasons. This person is trying to resist coming towards you because they know that they just want to sleep with they they want more than that with you, but they can they all, all they can give you right now is like sex or like to sleep with you. They can't, they don't want to give you something, they don't want to give you something balanced right now, or they're not able to. You guys are holding back from this person because they're not giving you what you deserve. Why are they holding back? Why is my collective holding back? Yeah, hanged man, pace Pisces energy, new perspectives sacrifice for love tell me more maybe you're hoping that by doing this it'll give this person a new perspective tell me about hanged man magician it's on yeah so you're trying to attract this person to you or you're trying to um you're trying to aries energy or gemini virgo whatever it is for you um what you want wants you manifesting Rege see it's like what hold up <laughs> the emperor on the back of the deck there's the divine masculine yeah they're feeling like yeah that's forbidden right now yeah hmm it's because you're, you're you're sick of this person's ego like it's something about this person's ego You want somebody that loves you loud and proud and openly and is emotionally immature. Yeah, and it's like this person is just emotionally detached. So I don't know. You guys are like standing your ground and holding back from this person. Because you know that it's probably going to be a while. 
until this person can, yeah, you know, some of you guys have like a knowing about this person. I don't know if it's because you watch my readings. I don't know if it's because you got a reading done, but some of you guys know this person. You need, you guys need this time apart. Like you need this disconnection. They need, they have to go through the dark night of the soul. They have to make the decision to want to open their heart. They got to get out of this. They have to have this ego death. Yeah, I feel like you guys know this. I don't know, but before that, this four of wands can happen. So you just know that it's probably going to be a while. So I feel like you guys are honestly trying to move on from this person or just at least like make peace with the situation and move on with your life. And then like kind of be in this this energy where it's like, if it happens, it happens. You know what I mean? So um, like you're practicing detachment. You know what I mean? Like yes, I still love this person. Yes. You know, that'd be cool if me and this person could come together in the right way. Um, but if not, I'm going to be okay either way. I don't know. This person has like a third party or something. What is the, th what is that? Do they have a third party? What is it that they need to let go of from the past? Guys, the cards are not cooperating with me at the moment. Hold on. What is this that they need to, uh, what does the six of swords and the three of swords mean for this person? The nine of swords. Ooh, some type of nightmare situation. Sorrow, regret, remorse. Maybe they just need to heal. They need to forgive themselves. The moon, uncertainty. They need to snap out of some type of illusion or fears, anxieties. Yeah, that's going to make them end up missing an opportunity. It's like they're not happy in their current situation. And whatever, like, these, if they have car a karmic or karmics around them, like, they're not even, like, bo they're bored with that. Apathetic. There's no emotion there. Yeah, disappointment. Look at this, guys. Five of Cups, grieving, breakup, loss, regret, sadness. Why are they in this energy? Ooh, it could have something to do with children. What about children? Some type of truth came out about a child or about children. Mmm. Yeah. There was a truth that came out about a child. What's this have to do or what's this have to do with my collective? Six of Pentacles. The Queen of Cups. What's tell me more about children and ace of swords? The page of pentacles. Yeah, something to do with a child. Possibly about an earth sign child. What's this have to do with this person? The Hierophant, Taurus Energy, Temperance, Waiting. Or it's maybe has something to do with their childhood. It could be their childhood wounds. Two of Pentacles, yeah. Six of Wands. Hmm. Something was revealed here. I feel like they are you viewing you as the queen of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Some of you are, or you're just somebody that's very loving and nurturing and empathetic and intuitive. Um, that that's how they're viewing you as the, as that you love them. What is, what is this truth that came out? What is this truth? Whatever it was, it caused a, a conflict. It was either about co like competition or it's about com It caused a conflict, bickering, conflict, opposition. Tell me more. Yeah, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. What about that King of Pentacles? Date? Time together. What's this have to do with them? What is this Five of Wands? Or, oh, somebody is one and another. What, this, what does this have to do with children? This person could be finding out, okay, but what happened with the children situation for them, though? They could have got, like, some type of, like, something that bruised their ego. They were waiting a long time for something. They were putting their life on hold for something or they something that they were waiting a long time for. What happened with that? Caused the five of wands. Mm, wait, what a catch. What about that? Two of pentacles. I don't know, y'all. They juggled you. They juggled you for sure. Why did they what why were they dealing with this other person? Ooh, this person. Eight of pen eight of swords. Why were they with this other person though? That person could have money because it was st stable with that person. Awakening. What are they awakening to? De the devil. They're realizing that somebody that they were depending on or somebody that they were dealing with. Um, oof. I don't know. They're either finding out that this person that they were dealing with 
is having a child with somebody else or they're finding out that that person was, was dating other people like they had options or competition they may have thought that this person i feel like whatever if, if this is a third party it was more so just like it wasn't anything deep or meaningful there it was maybe lustful or just surface level like superficial with that person but maybe they, it was something to do with money with that other person but they feel they're feeling stuck or trapped there but they feel like they were they kind of felt like they were stuck with that person but they're realizing they're awakening to i don't even know guys somebody is obsessed with you they feel like you're it says wanting to conquer you fear of losing you but what are, what is this other situation because i see them wanting another chance why are, what is this other situation that they were juggling them with the four something that they were holding on to what is it what were they holding on to? Or they're trying to hold on to hope about you. They're not really telling me about this other situation. It could have been like where they were married to somebody and there was some type of deception. Like they're learning some type of what it looks like is difficult lesson where separation is necessary. See, there's with the seven of swords, there's some type of lie, deception, cheating. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles, they're, they're healing from like a, a divorce or a, a long-term relationship or something like that. What is the Seven of Swords? Temperance. Yeah, they're trying to heal from some type of deception. Yeah, they're, this is, whatever this is, it's like sending them into the dark night of the soul. Yeah, death. It's it's finally sending them, it's like spirit forced this person into like change. And, it, and it's like, it's guys, I'm going to let you know something that you know spirit will nudge you and they'll keep giving you signs and synchronicities and trying to show you where you need to go and what you need to be doing and you know it, it's always best you know it's hard sometimes to 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 know how do i say this so like this this person was getting those nudges and those signs and those synchronicities and all those things right i feel like this person knew what they were supposed to be doing but they were still being stubborn they were still being resistant they were still not letting go of something that they knew they should have let go of moved away from something that they knew they should have moved on from. And now that the divine is, is intervening, it's going to be a lot kind of worse than if they would have just made the decision to do what they were supposed to do on their own. It's like, they're kind of like, mm -hmm, like they, the divine's kind of like smacking some sense into this person. <sighs> You guys, I just heard you guys could even warn this person about certain things and they weren't listening to you. They didn't believe you. They were still being stubborn. They wanted to live in their illusions, their delusions, whatever. So tell me more about what's going on here. Yeah, stuck in a loop. They kept repeating the same stupid cycle. Cycle spirits like, I feel like, yeah, like I feel like you came into this person's life and you were like everything that they wanted and they were like pretty much fumbling you or something like that. And like, it's like this person, Instead of like, they had like a pat two choices. They had the choice to come, you know, come into union with you and go down the path with you, which would be the ace, you know, this new beginning with a lot of potential. Or they had the choice to continue staying in this toxic loop. And for some reason, they were still choosing to stay in that toxic loop, even though they knew that something was nudging them towards you. I don't know. So it says stuck in a loop. A pattern has become familiar to them, and they are wanting to break free from the same loop they keep repeating. Yeah, mixed signals. They sent you mixed signals. That cloudy space between hot and cold is their way of telling you they're not totally sure if you're they're into you or not. Dealt a bad hand. So they just feel like you it's like I was hearing this. They maybe manifested you, but when you came into their life, they were like really not they weren't ready for you. They wish they met you in a different time because they feel they'll never get to see what the connection could have been. Passion ignited. I told you they're very passionate about you. Their intent sexual desire toward you is making it hard for them to know the difference between lust and love. So it's like this person, like what I'm getting is that whatever the other situation was, was like stability for them. It was like something longstanding in their life. And they felt like they could depend on that. They felt like with you, they weren't sure if they felt love for you or lust for you. Like they felt something very intense for you, but they were having a hard time discerning what it was. So they didn't feel like it was safe for them to, you know, choose you or to take that leap of faith towards you grieving and now they're in this energy yeah i told you they're not doing well they're stuck in grief unable to see that they still have the power to create a positive change 
They're also maybe sad over something else. Ten of Swords. There was a betrayal, a, be a deception, a, a painful ending that happened. Lack of leap, lack of faith. Leaving you out in the cold has been one of their biggest regrets, which has made them lose hope in the situation. They feel like they didn't really fuck up. All right, you know, that's what they feel like. They feel like they didn't really messed up. But look, resurrection, what you thought to be lost forever will come back and you'll witness the impossible made possible. Yeah, this person was focused on money or building stability or something like that. They see how they're focused on material things. So they, if they, they did have a third party, that was why they chose that third party or decided to stay with that per, th third party because they thought that they could build an, like, build, not even really build an empire, but like they could build stability there or it was stable. They thought their money would be stable there. They see how their focus on material things hasn't made them happy and only holding them back from love. Yeah, they choosing to be with somebody just because, you know, they pay your bills or you you guys share bills. That That's not going to bring you happiness and fulfillment. They're realizing how miserable they are. You know, and I feel like you probably have walked away from this person or, you know, whatever. So they don't they don't have you. They, they're now they're just left with that other situation. And I feel like it's making them realize how unhappy they are. The witch, they see how powerful and magical you are. And sometimes they wonder if you have them under a spell. Boundaries. Yeah, didn't I just say you probably walked away from this person? They love that you set strong boundaries for yourself and walk away from those who don't respect them, including them. And it says missing you. It's like you're, you pretty much left them with what they wanted or what they they wouldn't choose between you. They wanted to have both things. I'm not seeing like clear indication of wanting to have their cake and eat it too. But with that two of wands energy, that's them like, should I stay or should I go? One foot in, one foot out the door. Like one in, one in the benefits of whatever. Two, 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 two on the camera as I'm saying this. So that's my confirmation from the universe that I'm on the right path. So, or I'm, you know, I'm correct. So they wanted the benefits of that other situation while also wanting the benefits of being with you. And I feel like you, you were like, no, we're not doing that. I'm, I need this. I'm not okay with this. I have to set a boundary here. And then like you walked away from this person and now they're just left with what they wouldn't release to be with you. And they're realizing that that's just not, that's not, that doesn't fulfill them. They're not happy with, somebody had a reading like this. Taurus? Yeah, I think I mentioned Taurus. Taurus had a reading like this. Mm-hmm missing you their life feels empty without you they miss you more than words can say but they think it's too late to fix things so they really feel like they'd have messed up but they're still trying to figure out how they can fight for this they're stepping up their game to get get your attention because they know that, that you have plenty of options so yeah there's something about that too them thinking that there's competition for you you having other options yeah they know this person's about to step up and try to compete for you fight for you their inner warrior is being activated. They're getting ready to fight for you and overcome their fears of love. Yeah, I feel like this person knew that they felt love for you. I'm not going to lie. Like, they may have, they're like, I don't know, maybe it's less. No, this person know that, knew that there was something different about how they felt about you, but it scared them. Yeah, you guys had, you guys probably had, like, for an initial, just from the very beginning, a very strong attraction, connection to one another. Their soul recognized your soul from the moment they met you. They knew you were the one they'd been waiting for. Yeah, here's that taming the beast energy again. It says, you make them putty in your hands. They know their old conquering ways will not work with you. So they know they have to come towards you correct. Like you're not accepting anything less than that. But it says, yeah, message. They want to message you and explain everything to you, but they know that they have to do right. What did I just say? They know they have to, they're going to come towards you. They have to do right by you. So that's why they're just watching you snooping, sad, regretful, because they know that to come towards you, they're going to have to come towards you with something like balanced and worth your time. Because you're no longer set, because you've set these boundaries. So for right now, all they're doing is watching you from a distance. It says they need time to answer the call of their soul and step into higher levels of consciousness. So yeah, it's like they've, they're resi they've been resisting this connection, but they've also not been ready, guys. Like they need to level up. They need to ascend. But they're definitely watching you. Yeah, they are secretly snooping around and asking friends about you in order to see if you're dating someone new. They are very worried about that. They are very worried about you moving on with somebody new. They need to clear out all this shit that they got, this baggage. There's a lot of baggage that needs to be taken care of before they pr approach you. They're really trying to trust the situation. So they know that they got to get this shit together and they, they need to make a choice. They need to make up their mind. There is a choice they have to make. They know that, that time is not on their side and risk losing you forever if they don't. I'm telling you. They feel like somebody else is going to get to you before they can make, they need to hurry up and make up their mind then. But they put you on a pedestal. It says you're the queen of their heart. Yeah, queen of cups. I'm telling you, they are, they view you as the one that loves them or that they love the emotions. You're the queen of their heart, the queen of their fiercely guarded castle. It's only fear that makes them run. Yeah, they've been running and resisting, 
but it says they are opening themselves up to love, allowing themselves to dream and plan because you give their life meaning. Mm -hmm. They're very attentive. I'm telling you, this this last card I'm reading, but all these are re resonating with this reading. Each day it gets harder and harder to resist what they know in their heart to be true. They see you as their forbidden fruit. What did I tell you? <laughs> they know that they love you. They just hurt. It's like, but it also scares them. So they feel like you're the forbidden fruit. Like they feel like, Ugh, if I, I know I have these intensive feelings and emotions for the collective, but I just, there's that chance that if I bite that fruit, if I bite that apple, that it's going to, that this person could hurt me or that it's going to turn out bad for me. Like they have these fears that like, it's just, I don't know, guys. They have a fear of love. They have a fear of you hurting them. They have a fear of you backstabbing them. I don't know if it's because of something that happened in there. It could be because of somebody, somebody did this to them in their past. They're still holding on to old wounds, carrying old wounds into your connection. They need to clear out all that crap if they're good. Like, they can't bring that into your relationship. That's why it says they have all that baggage. That baggage.